the submaximal ramp test estimates your maximum minute power and maximum heart rate and provides an estimate of target training zones. To do the test, you'll need a watt bike compatible heart rate monitor. From the main menu, select Link Heart Rate. Any Ant Plus and Ant Wireless coded heart rate monitors are compatible. These can be Garmin or Sunto, or you can use a Polar coded belt. Once your heart rate belt number is detected by the monitor, press Enter to confirm, and then you are ready to start riding. Before you start the test, you should warm up for 5 minutes at 50 to 60 RPM. Once you are adequately warmed up, it's time to start the test. As a general rule, unfit individuals should start at 55 watts, and fit individuals should start at 100 watts. The stage watts are increments of 15 watts every minute. The magnetic resistance should be on the lowest setting at all times during the test. Consult the Watt Bike Trainer or Pro Cadence table available from the Watt Bike website. Set the level on the left hand side and aim for the target RPM listed in the table. You can adjust resistance to make sure you achieve the watt targets. This will allow the target watts during each one minute of the test to be evaluated. Go to the performance monitor on your watt bike, select workouts, tests, and select submax ramp. Now enter your age, weight and gender, the start and stage watts for the test, and then press enter. From the screen, you can then set your resistance. Start the test and match the watts shown on the performance monitor as closely as possible to the target for that minute. You may need to slightly adjust your RPM to achieve this. Then consider how you are feeling at each minute. The feeling should be based on your level of exertion, where 1 feels easy and 10 feels extremely hard. The test duration is not defined. It is based on your exertion level. When you reach an exertion level of 7 out of 10, the test is complete. Press Escape to see the test results on the monitor under Test and Zones. You will then be able to review the test result, which will show the estimated maximum minute power and estimated maximum heart rate, as well as power and heart rate training zone information.